What's up, brother? I miss, I miss this guy. I saw the monster for loser. Where were you at, man? I miss you. Here, brother. Oh, stuff happens, you know. Welcome back, though. Welcome. Bruh. He's here. He's here. I think. Where's his name? David. Yeah, this guy, David Zerski. He's there. Yeah, Alejandro, you're gonna go blind. Stop. You're gonna go blind. VHS, I don't have any DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, the two Steelbook 4Ks. Yes, the Steelbooks are beautiful, they are. aren't they? Yeah. I even have the PSP UMD one, yes. a little okay, small so one. I have the, I have the DVIX version. Okay, you beat me. Yeah. Do you have the View Master <laughs> Reels, the Crow? Yeah. Oh, see, that would be it. Yeah. Yeah. David, he probably Kids has it. Love them. Cool. You guys rock, man. Thank you. Another successful Golden Apple signing, John Carpenter. Oh, man. That right? was great. That was awesome, <laughs> right? He was in a good mood, too, right? Mm -hmm. Joking with Christian, playing music, Yeet. right? Dancing around the music. Dancing the around. Dude, it was oh, awesome. Man. That was so fun, right? He suggested they play The Doors, too, which Dude, how I got cool happy that? about. That's my favorite band of all time, so I'm like... Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, John. Oh, He's like, man. oh, John's good people. You know what? And The Doors, they, it was a great cover band that played at the Monster Palooza after party this last year, too. That was fun. Oh, the one Christian didn't go to? The one he didn't see? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, tall time. So here we are at volume 10 of uh, Tales for a Halloween Night. John Carpenter's at Tales for a Halloween Night, volume 10, anniversary edition. This was uh, the Golden Apple variant. They only released 200 of the skeleton variant right here. And we got all the contributors signed right there with John himself, the man right in the middle there. Sandy King above there. We got Cat Staggs, Amanda Diver, Divert, Ross, David Scow. Not sure what's happening to Wayne's pen right there. But uh, yeah, this is the 12th annual. Time to do it. And But uh, 10th, volume 10, anniversary edition. So here's a little sneak peek of what you can expect. The anthology, you know, always have, always come with cool stories. Beautiful artwork. Look at that. I think people forget this. Like, hey man, there's some cool stories in here. You know, check it out. So, uh, everyone that cont contributes, you know, also are there too. So, you know, you should, uh, should thank them for being there. And, um, you know, we should celebrate artists and writers and everyone that's there. Because obviously everyone's there for John Carpenter. There's no, there's no secret about that. So, I brought my John Carpenter Lost Themes 4. And he signed right there with a cool liquid silver pen right there. So that was neat. I've had him sign all my other ones. The very first time I met him, my very first Golden Apple signing, he signed my very first uh, uh, album of his. It was Lost Themes, the first one. So I had, to, I had to keep going with the tradition right there. So hopefully I can get Cody and Daniel one day. That'd be rad. But yeah, I had to add them. I had to add him to the collection right there. That is so cool. So thank you. Thank you. As well, so also, like I said, since Cat Staggs was there, she helped write this new series guide, DC Horror Presents. There's volume one, a variant of four. I got this variant right here. Multiple contributors contributors as well. And she signed right there. That was really cool. Because, I mean, after all, it is a comic book store. We are celebrating comics. 
And since she was there, so was Amanda Tyra. I usually don't get Powerpuff Girls, but since they had a Halloween special and there's a lot of Halloween, there's a lot of horror movie references in this, I thought it'd be fun. And since it was there, again, let's, let's support the writers and artists that are there as well too. So I thought that was pretty neat. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get that. And since so I've been in the comic kick, man, just buying a bunch of comics, I saw this one, this Terminator one, uh, issue one. There's a bunch of variant covers on this one. Um, I believe Cat did issue three, which just comes out in December. So I wish they would came. I wish you had one here. But I always like this one. I thought that was a, this was a really neat cover, and uh, I hope it's a good book. I um, I'm just excited to check it out. Like I said, I'd love to cover it. It caught my eye, and uh, picked that one up. And also, since my boy David Scow is there, people keep asking me, do you have anything to, uh, anything left for uh, David to sign? And I'm like, you know what? I do. I have this Miramax Dimension Collector Series DVD that I uh, had forever. And uh, I was like, you know what? I do have something else he can sign. And there it is. And he had a really cool gold pen. He signed it right there. I thought that was pretty neat. It's always it's always awesome to uh, run into him. He said he had a DVIX version of it. I'm like, yeah, you beat me. I don't even know what that meant. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> But I thought that was really cool. So that's my haul from the Golden Apple um, Tales for Halloween Night signing event. That's always a great time. And again, can't thank Golden Apple enough. Buddy John, give me up with the you know, photos. And uh, everyone that, that comes out, turns out, again, they, it's been so successful. And they do such a good job. So thank you, Golden Apple. Thank you for the cool exclusive variant as well. Thanks for all the artists and writers who showed up as well. And uh, yeah, and as always, guys, you already know. Can't rain all the time.